Okay, so this is the first video sample on the A7 Mark II before the firmware update. Again, handheld footage, highest bitrate capable on this camera in XAVCS, and we'll see how at least the firmware update affects the 5-axis image stabilization and its ability to compensate for shake. Of course, in terms of other practical uses, that will be something I'll have to reserve for another day, but at least today, I wanted to give all of you a video sample. So again, uh, some quick panning, everything handheld, some zooming. This is being shot with the uh, Zeiss 24-70 FE uh, glass, so native E-mount, full frame, with its own stabilization, so this completely leverages the system. So it'll be interesting to see how much of my handshake, which I'm relatively steady, but how much of it is eliminated uh, by that firmware update and whatever it actually accomplishes. All right, so we'll see. I'll try to reproduce this as best as possible. Okay, I'll even do a little bit of this at the end. Some actual shaking, some intentional. Maybe I've been outside. After all, it is about eight degrees here right now, and we'll see what that equates to post, as ridiculous as that is. And so this is our second video test with the A7 Mark II. This is after the firmware update, which, as I mentioned earlier, addresses directly the 5-axis image stabilization. Let's go ahead and see what sort of difference it has made. And I will try to give you a variation here in the panning. Again, all handheld. Should give you a pretty good idea of how well or how smooth uh, the camera is in terms of transitioning compared with the earlier sample which was pre-firmware update and I will even do my intentional uh, shake test that I did at the end of the first video clip as ridiculous as, as that is uh, because it does just show again real world use and the fact that you inevitably at some point will shake as I mentioned 8 degree weather will do it to you. Of course I am indoors, but outside uh, those of us on the East Coast are not so lucky these days. Uh, so here's the intentional shake and we'll see how well it's handled uh, by image stabilization. And this is extraordinarily deliberate, but we'll see if there's actually a significant difference in how this camera is able to handle uh, that bit of shake compared to the first firmware version. That pretty much rounds out the video sample test when it comes to the 5-axis stabilization and the new firmware update. So, looks pretty smooth to me, but I'll see in post.